Hello fans, welcome to JK Fidelity Tech. Today I have two switches here, this switch and this switch. I want to show you they have both of them have unique problems and all of them are caught problem. So I'm going to show you the difference, both the report is going to give on the system and the reaction is going to show here. So, so, so what we're going to do right now is look at this switch this down here I have these two windows open here you can see both of them there the first one which is COM4 is for this switch up the second uh, uh, window here which is uh, COM10 is for this switch down here I want to show you that let me show you you can see that this one is COM10 and this one is COM4 so the COM4 is for this switch up here that have no cover, I remove the cover so let's get started this switch, there's a problem that comes to that this switch has this one downside here I want to start from this one, this one here which is COM10 I want to start from there this one some ports are working some ports are not working look at this one when you plug the the, the 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 device which is this access point at the back you see it's showing light here you plug it some places it's showing light you can see it's showing light and when it's showing light as a report is going to give here to the computer see, see the report i'll show you you can see this is a gigabyte switch. This is an inline power, inline power five granted interface G1 G I1. Look at it, power granted protocol interface line up. You can see that, and you can see the the PoE device at the back is showing light, showing that this this port is okay. So. I want that this port is not working on the same switch. This port is not working. This this port here is not working. Look at it. I plug in the power the the cable. You will see that. I'll plug in the cable. You see that. This uh, you see the light is blinking here. You see the light is blinking. And when this thing is happening, it's not going to show any power at the back of this place. You can see the power is blinking. You can see this this line is at PoE line that is blinking this this thing. It's showing amber at the PoE line, showing that this has a problem. And let me show you the report is going to show. Are you seeing the report? Are you seeing the report? Power controller report power test start error. You can see that. You can see that. The controller report the power test T test which is the start error. You see? On the same switch that some ports are also working. So Okay, so this is it. When you see this kind of uh, this kind of issue, just know that. Uh, okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the chip that is responsible for this this problem. Towards the ending of the video, that's responsible for this is a hardware problem. So this one, I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to zoom this one. This we're going to turn over to this this one. So I'm going to show you the problem of this one. I'm going to show you the problem right now. I'm going to unplug the power because both two of them have different issue. This one, the problem this one has is all the ports are not working. None of the ports are working because of a particular error. All the ports are not working. 
all the ports are not working because of a particular error and I'm going to show you the error is booting I'm going to still show you when it gets to that level I will show you the problem let me just pause the video for now so I'm going to bring it close now it's, it's getting to that level it's going to show oh, one minute let me zoom it it's going to show uh we're going to show it's going to show one report and i'm going to show you the report And look at the report here you, you're seeing the report inline power failure inline, inline inline feature is disabled on the switch let me show you you can see be the reason why it was disabled do you know the reason why it is disabled look at the reason why it is disabled because the inline power controller the test is has failed look at failure failure you see failure here so this is a problem so none of the ports is going to work look at inline power failure look at it inline power controller test look at the status failed so in this issue this kind of issue the 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 port none of the port is going to work let me plug in the so look at i plug in the 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 port look at it here it's not showing any light at the back it's not working so all the ports are not working sorry for the the disruption look at all the ports I just removed the cover I just removed the cover so what I'm going to do is I'm showing you that this one is different from this one this problem is different this one some ports are working and this it's showing different reports so this one it doesn't even give any single sign at all at all it doesn't give any single sign at all at all so it has been disabled because the, the 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 system has found out that there's some problem which is a hardware problem so these two problem i showed you is just hardware problem so when you see this kind of two reports just know that it has a problem so the first the one that has a has a some ports are working look at the problem look at the chip that's responsible for that look at the chip that's responsible for that this one here this down look at the chip that is responsible for that here I'm going to show you very well the position of the the chip next time which is this one this switch down here so thank you see you on the next video